I'm going to go into SQLite. First, let me see what kind of databases I have. And I have one called mydb.db. All right, that's good. Let's clear up the screen again. And let's go into SQLite 3. SQLite 3. And let's open up mydb.db. I get my prompt. First thing I want to do is put the headers on. And then I want the mode, dot mode, to be column. Then, something different. I want to change my output. No longer do I want it to go to the standard output, the screen. I want it, go to, a, I want it to go to a file called dot test. I hit enter. Now I'm going to select. I don't know the name of the table. Dot T A B L E. It's not going to display it on the screen. Well, I'm out of luck. <laughs> All right. So let's select star from T1. I remember the name of the table. And now let's do a dot output, change it back to the standard output. Standard out. Now let's go and exit out of this program and see if we can type out the contents of dot test. -E and look what we see. When I told the system before, dot table, it showed me I had this table called T1. Wow. Then I said select star from T1, and it printed out the contents of my table with the headers on and in column mode. Huh. What do you know? You can now go in here and edit this file with a text editor. Wow, that's even more amazing. I know. Let's have some fun. Let's try it. Dot. Dot. <laughs> it's key in Notepad. Up comes Notepad. And let's see if we can get this file. Dot test. File. Open. Oh, I didn't do that so you can see it. Excuse me. File. Open. And the name of the file we'll go looking for is in the C drive. And it's called .test. Oh, there it is. You can actually go in there and edit this file. <laughs> there was the... Uh, First command I'll put to this file, and here's the name of the two fields, the underscores, and then the data. Wow, looks looks pretty yucky this way. Hmm. Not uh, not too well formatted here, but. You can see that you can uh, actually go in and edit this file, and that's pretty amazing. Let me close that. And that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull.